Hey, it's Claudia. Visit Bucks County's local tourist. Right off I-95, just minutes from Sesame Place and Shady Brook Farm is Yardley, Pennsylvania. Yardley, Bucks County, Pennsylvania is a major spot for people who love food. Let's check out some of those spots with Eat Around Yardley Part 1. Starting with Pretty Bird Coffee on Main Street. I brought along my friend Rose because Pretty Bird is the place to be if you want to catch up with friends. My favorite is their hot lavender latte. It's made with their homemade lavender syrup and I can't leave without getting a cup. Rose got the snickerdoodle latte and it looked scrumptious. To eat, we split the hot honey toast and a raspberry chocolate muffin. When it's nice out, you can sit on their porch or even out by the Yardley Borough mural. A fun fact is that Pretty Bird transforms into a smash burger restaurant at night. Look out for Eat Around Yardley Part 2 for more on that. Next, we went over to Soul Bowl to try their waffle package. It's like a smoothie bowl on top of a waffle. I had the chocolate chip waffle with a scoop of pitaya blend. Mango, pineapple, kiwi, coconut flakes, and honey. And Rose had a regular waffle with a scoop of acai, strawberries, blueberries, bananas, and coconut flakes. They were so good, it brought me right to the beach. We decided to walk off our breakfast with some shopping and walked into a crystal cove of Yardley, a crystal shop tucked into the back of ye old Yardley florist, an over 100 year old flower shop, then continued our journey to the Yardley Inn. The Yardley Inn is set in a revolutionary era building. We sat along the windows that have a perfect view of the Delaware River. The food was so good, they give you a cornbread appetizer. And we had to start off with some cocktails. We were recommended their martinis, so we got a chocolate and a lemoncello. They were delicious. Rose got the chicken cutlet sandwich with fresh mozzarella, spinach, pesto, aioli, and french fries. I got the garden green salad. It was so refreshing and perfect for lunch. We took a break from snacking at the Commonplace Reader, a locally owned bookstore. They sold every everything from trending must-reads, children's books, to local Bucks County authors. After that, we went to La La Lobster, a locally owned seafood restaurant that serves up fresh lobster, lobster mac and cheese, crab cake, steak, and more. The inside of the restaurant is adorable. It was a little chilly on the day we visited, but the backyard is perfect for outdoor dining. We got the lobster roll and it was so fresh. While we were there, we tried Yardley Distillery canned spirits. My favorite was the lemoncello. Lala Lobster makes you feel like you're at the beach, so what better way to finish than walk across the parking lot to Panna Gelateria? Panna is known for their homemade gelato. Owner Sally and Jamil Gadia are a pastry chef power couple. Jamil was even a winner on Chopped. Their shop has a variety of fresh gelato flavors that are always changing. I chose two and had the chocolate malt and raspberry buttermilk. A perfect combination. They make so many tasty pastries, I just had to try. They also have cold brew and espresso. These aren't even half of the Yardley food stops that I have been dying to try. So make sure to come back for part two. For more places to eat and things to do in Bucks County, follow us on all socials at Visit Bucks PA. And check out our website, visitbuckscounty.com.